Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and it is time for a few of my favorite things. I don't have any fails this week, so we are doing good. So let's just get to it. Uh, let's talk about the foundation that I have been wearing a lot this week. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I have just been putting this on with a with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I have not been using a brush this week, oddly enough. So, yes, I have really enjoyed that. It is a thicker formula, so if the thickness bothers you, you can always add a drop of oil into it or a drop of like an illuminizer um, because this is a matte finish. Okay, so let's talk about powders for the face this week. I have been going in between my two new ones and I'm loving them both. Um, the first one is the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Porcelain. Really do enjoy that. I enjoy um, setting my T-zone with that, but I also um, enjoy setting my under eyes with this as well. Very much love that. Um, next is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is beautiful. Um, just like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, but this does not kick up the amount of powder that the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores does. It's much more of a solid product, um, and it goes on beautifully. It really does. So I really do enjoy setting my T-zone with this powder. With the It Cosmetics, it just, my, when I had it in the compact form, it just used up way too quickly just because every time you put a brush in, it just kicked so much product up. Still a phenomenal product, but if you're wanting to make your dollars last, I would go with this one. Um, let's see, blush this week. I have found my way back to my Milani Romantic Rose. I seriously just think this is my color. Absolutely love it. It is beautiful and just soft. Oh my goodness. It is just really a beautiful, beautiful color. There you go. And yes, I do have my nails painted again. Can you believe it? I'm getting off foo-foo during the summer. <laughs> okay, now I haven't shown this in a while. This is the Brulee, a uh, Wet n' Wild Brulee Shadow. 99 cents in the store. Of course, I've hit pan. This is probably, I don't, don't even know how many of these I've owned. I have one in my beauty desk now for when I finish with this one. This is the first shadow that goes on my lids from eyelash to eyebrow every single day that I wear my, uh, eyeshadow. This is the base. It just really helps if there's any discoloration, um, but also just to, now if you put an eye primer on your lids, this will help set that, but also just give you a nice, uh, working plane for any eye look that you want to do. So, I have really enjoyed that. Now that we talked about eye look, this is the palette of the week, the 35-0 palette. From Morphe, uh, you know, what can I say? <laughs> it is phenomenal absolutely love this the colors are creamy they are soft um, there's a little bit of kick out in the pan when you put your brush in it but I have not had any on my eyes just is phenomenal I have done everything except for the under eye high under eyebrow highlight with this palette so i've really enjoyed it i have not used my makeup geek at all this week which i always say is in a, is a miracle because those are my holy grail so but this was phenomenal i've really enjoyed uh wearing it just i mean some of the colors look like they would be pretty much the same but they're not it's, they're just surprising. It is a beautiful palette. Let me know if you want to, me to do a swatch video of this. Um, leave that down below. Um, let's talk about another blush. I should have shown this a second ago. Um, 
that I have used when not wearing that Romantic Rose by Milani. I've been pulling out my Cheek, Cheekathon palette. Oh my goodness. Been pulling out the Rockateur right here. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and smooth and creamy. Benefit does just nothing wrong. If you ask me. So there is the Rockateur. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on my hand. I did tan today, so I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there is Rockateur. Absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Okay, so let's let me clean off my finger. Okay, I'm seriously, I'm having a problem with this highlighter. And the problem is that I love it so much. It is the Becca, the Becca highlighter in opal. Of course, this is the free sample size that I did receive and I've hit major pan. This is beautiful. I get compliments on, I, people say I look like I have just glitter just all over my face, but I don't have glitter. It's just such a beautiful highlight. It's just on the cheekbones, on the side of the eyes, and when the sun just hits it, it just looks like, you know, like the sun is just kissing my face. I absolutely love it. This stuff sinks into your skin. Just gives you a beautiful highlight. It just, you know, some highlights will sit on top of your skin. You can see it. It doesn't really mend in with your skin or your other makeup. And you, you, it just looks fake. I mean, this is fake as well, but it doesn't look as fake as one that, that just sits on top of the skin. I really do like this. And Mama will be buying the full size. Yes. Yes, she will. Okay, let's talk about mascara, and then we're going to get to the lips, because you know I like to do that last. Okay, the mascara that I've been pulling out this week is CoverGirl the Super Sizer. I hauled this probably a month or two ago and hadn't even opened it till uh, it was about two months ago that I purchased it and opened it a couple of weeks ago. Um, I really like this. It gives you, I don't know if you'll be able to see, um, it really does give you a nice look for your lashes. Kind of gives you more of that fake lash look. Um, not a lot of volume, but it does give you length. It does not put, doesn't clump your lashes together, make them look spidery. Just fans them out beautifully, fans them out and makes them long. Absolutely love this thing. It does help the lashes keep their curl once you curl them. Uh, just truly is a beautiful mascara. It is not waterproof, but does not go everywhere when I'm sweating at Tidal. Because I do sweat a lot at Tidal. Okay, so it has been a liquid lipstick kind of week. Uh, first things first, let's talk about Dose of Color Stone. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks for sure. Uh, just absolutely beautiful. It is not, it's the color. The color is beautiful. Um, I don't feel the need of putting anything on top of this. It wears so comfortably. It doesn't feather out. It doesn't leave, I mean, it doesn't drip or, you know, it just is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I know I can put this on, leave it, and not even have to worry about it. Not even have to worry about it. Now, a liquid lipstick that I love, but I do have to put something on top of it is the Color Pop Ultra Matte Lip in Lumiere 2. I have the lipstick pencil of theirs of the original Lumiere, which I love. And I had to get this because I love that one so much. And I do love the color. However, these Color Pop lippies are, the Ultra Mattes are just drying. Crazy dry. So I have, for me anyway. Um, but that is the color, and I absolutely love that. Uh, I do have it on my lips today with this on top. This came in some beauty box. It is the Mana Kadar 
Beauty Simplified. That is the brand, and it is a priming gloss stain in Lucky. Um, on its own, there's not a lot to say about it because it's not really that special, but let, well, let me show you what this looks like real quick. That is what that looks like to me. I mean, it's all right, not a biggie, but I put it on top of this Lumiere 2, and it's a thicker formula, so there's not a lot of movement. So it just adds enough moisture, not a lot of color change to the Lumiere 2, but gives you some nice moisture. And again, got this in a beauty box somewhere along the line. Honestly, do not remember which one, but the brand is Mana Kadar. M-A-N-N-A Kadar is K-A-D-A-R. So I really do like that. Um, yeah, so that is it for this week. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to do a swatch video on that Morphe palette because it is phenomenal. And I did buy another one, so let me, I can do a swatch video of both of them. Just let me know. I love you all. Hope to see you.